What's up guys? In this video I'm going to teach you how to get super close-up macro photographs of spiders such as this spider in macro using the Canon PowerShot Oh, I think he grabbed something. Using the Canon PowerShot SX camera and a Raynox DCR macro lens and you can get amazing close-up macro photos and see amazing things such as this spider catching some kind of insect and you can zoom in digitally as well so this is 68 times zoom and let me zoom out and show you what I'm using for these types of photographs and this 1080p quality video so I have a clip-on macro lens and this is the Raynox DCR 250 now this is the 150 but you can get the 250 as well and this is a lens that is made in Japan and all you have to do is get a digital camera such as this Sony or Canon PowerShot and just clip it onto the front find something to photograph so here is our spider on this leaf so I am going to go around so I can get a better angle and then I'm gonna zoom in on him from about six to eight inch distance and then either hold down the shutter button to adjust your focus or you can manually focus and then just hold down your shutter button get the aim on its eyes so he just turned around but Let's see if we can get a shot anyway So if your spider turns around like this, just get his attention, wave your hand, and then he'll turn around and then grab your shot. So jumping spiders are very curious. So sometimes they'll just stick around and let you do a whole photo shoot of them. Sometimes they'll even come up to you and climb up your hand. So this one caught a meal and there are really many insects that you can photograph using this setup so let me just move my tripod up I see a different some kind of tree hopper insect up here and I'm just gonna raise up my tripod zoom in until I get the proper shot that I want as well as the right focus and snap my picture get the right shot and I got some cool photographs of this tree hopper and I can go back and see what my jumping spider is doing so I get that focus on its eyes And I get my shot. So that's all there really is to it. Our tree hopper changed angles as well, so we can go and get another shot of this thing. And really, the possibilities are endless because there's so much wildlife below our feet that we don't even know about. And this will really help you to get in tune with that side of nature, the small side, the ecosystem that's all around us. So check this out, there's actually a spider underneath of this bug. So it's a little bit windy so it's hard to get focused. Alright, if you have any questions, drop a comment down below. And be sure to check out some other macro videos that I have uploaded and that I will be uploading in the near future. And check this out, it's a great hobby to pick up and as you can see it's not that hard to get amazing shots.